What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, this is back with another video. Now, today, here's the highly requested video of my settings. What is your settings? Now, from the last setting video that I made, that y'all went crazy. I got like 700 views on it. That is amazing. I appreciate all you guys. But, I changed it up since then. Now, this is my settings. Oh, snap. I'm all fine. These are my settings. I play stick and move flip because I've been playing jetpack in Call of Duty and I'm so used to jumping with my R3. I don't jump with X and I don't play claw. I play standard. I play regular. Two hands on a controller. None of that extra stuff. No octopus claw. None of that. I don't play none of that. I play regular Call of Duty with my regular hand like how everybody else play with regular two hands on a controller and I shoot with L1 and R1. It's flip. So that's why I said stick and move flip. I don't, I don't think nobody play like that. Uh, of course, this is disabled. I don't know how you play reverse. It's disgusting. Now, this is the juicy part. Dead zone. Some people play on regular dead zone, which is 0 0.05. I play on 0 0.03. This, I don't really know how to explain it, but it helps me with tracking people, you know? Be able to, like, if they're running left or running right or just moving left or right or jumping and others, that helps me with them tracking. If that makes sense, you know? It's easier to, like, just move my right stick a little bit and kill them. So, like pistol fights, I know a lot of people be missing their pistol shots. I don't miss a lot of pistol shots. So, that's why I got my Z zone, dead zone on 0 0.03. Horizontal and vertical sticks, they're both 6 over 6. I used to play 7 over 7, but I found myself missing too many shots. Like, too many small little gunfights that I would lose. And I'd be like, how did I lose that? I like to shoot in the center of the chest. That's what I shoot at. I like to shoot at the center of the chest. That's where I aim for. That's where you will always want to aim for. The center of the chest and mostly shoot the head, you know, of course. Head do more damage. Now, right here, my ADS is 0 0.96. This is without the three times scope. And this is, like, by far the best way to shoot people. Like, from long range. I use a lot of, I don't have problem with close range gunfights. Most of the times, if you're close, if they're too close, you hit fire or you melee anyway. So, far range, I can easily track people and beam people across the map. I don't miss a lot of shots at all with this settings. Now, if you want to, now, for you to figure out what you need, this may not work for you guys, but with the figure out what you need, you will have to mess around with your settings. This may work for some of you guys, it may not work for you, but this is my settings with my scuff, and this is what I use. Dynamic. I play on dynamic. I used to play on linear, but I realized that linear, I can't hit people from far range. I had trouble with far range gunfights. Linear is really good for up close. That's like, it's really good for up close fights. Linear is good for up close, but dynamic is good for far range. It's really good for far range. And a lot of pro players play on it, either dynamic or standard. So this is what I use. Controller vibration is off. Aim assist is standard. ADS, all this is basically the same. Enable, hold, hold. Now, console text this is full war zone. Of course, you want this so you can just tap, tap. But you just gotta hold a reload when you're in a car and hold a reload with your over guns. That's really it's easy once you get your muscle memory down. And slide cancel movement. Tap. Put it on tap. Not hold. Tap. Make sure it's on tap. Disable. I took off automatic sprint because that messed me up when I was in the gulag with shotguns and I couldn't shoot while walking forward. So I took that off. And yeah. Parachute, auto deploy, that's off. General settings. This is what I play on. 59 brightness. Safe area. You want to make sure everything is small. You don't want it too big. So you want everything small and be able to see people. Flim grain. Oh, this hurts me so much. People have flim grain on. Take it off. If you have this on, it just makes your game look so much trash. Like, just look at it. It looks. Ugh. Take it off. It's nasty. Please. Tap titles, blah, 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 blah. Now, colorblind mode. This is what I use now. I can see the two way easier on this one. It's hard for me to see the two and the three on this one. You guys, that's what you need to pay attention when you guys mess with your colorblind. I can see the one and two and three very, very easy with this. I can't even see the three on this one. Like, what is this? I can't even see the three. It looks like a freaking thumbprint. And this one, I can see this clear too, but I just like this one better. I mean, it's the same thing, low key. But this one's just a little brighter. So I like this one a lot. It's 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 amazing. Color by the target, I just got it on both. I don't really don't know what this do, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. I probably could just disable it or have it on world. Oh, I see the difference now. Yeah, I like both. It's better that way. Okay. Disable world motion blur and weapon motion blur. Why do you even have this on? It makes your games look trash. Look at it. 
Look at it. The right is the motion blur. Like, look at that. You want that? Do you really want that? That is nasty. Take it off. Now, you want it on square. You can see everything better on square. Look at it. It looks better on square. That's what they had it at the beginning. I don't know why they even put it on circle. Put it on square. Like, who wants round? Like, come on now. That's stupid. And, of course, keep this enabled. Why would you not want your map to rotate? That's dumb. And all this is irrelevant. Moving on the audio. Boost high. You can hear the footsteps the best with this. Everything is loud, and I love it. I love hearing everything. I play in game chat. I don't play in party chat. Play in game chat, and I can hear everything. I like hearing people rage. Um, 100%, it's too loud. You might go deaf. I got it on 91.1, so... I said 91.1, 91.0. I got it on that music. I don't like the music. I don't. I don't. I don't want to hear the music. Who cares about music? And I feel like I can copyright it for playing any music anyway. All this is on 100. Classic. This is hit marker. It really don't matter what you use. I just use classic because hey, I just like the sound of classic. Okay. Um, right here. Sometimes I can't hear people, so I just turn up the game, the voice chat in game, and stay turn down my master volume so I can't hear footsteps. I just turn y'all up so I can hear y'all. And I suggest you guys to do that. I got my microphone on 94 because I don't think it's too loud, but I think it's just right, you know. So you can mess with that. And voice chat effect. I, I don't think nobody uses this. I don't even care what that is. Like, what is that? So that is my settings. Now, let's move on to how to find your aim. So how to find your aim. You go to create a class. If you have the full game, this is what you do. If you don't have the full game, uh, I really don't know what to tell you guys. You're just going to have to figure it out in the game, all right? So, you find out what class you use. I use the pro player class. This is what they use sometimes. Some of them use this, some of them don't, but this is what I use, whatever. And I just get into a match. These are my classes that I use. You guys see, this is what I use. These are my classes. Go back and show you guys this. So, this is what I use. Go to hacking yard. That's what we like, hacking yard. And then you put on free for all. And I take the time limit off. I usually shoot up to 100 bots, but I'm not gonna show you guys 100 bots. I'm just gonna do 30. I guess 30 bots, 30 bots. Yeah, we do 30 bots. And I would put it on veteran. That's because that's how I play. 30 might be too low because these bots do be going crazy. So we're gonna just move it up a little bit. I'm not gonna show you guys the whole entire gameplay, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. So. This is what you guys want to do to find out if your accuracy is good and if you need to change up anything with your accuracy. Alright, we are in game. Now, like I said, you want to be able to aim at chess. You want to be able to get center aiming at the chest of your opponents. Free now, that guy's going to see when I can find somebody. See how I'm already aiming at his chest? You want to aim at people's chests. You kill people faster that way anyway. That's how you kill people quicker. And that's how you get the most damage or whatever. You be like, I didn't kill him. Aim at people's chests. And you want to know if that's the... Ooh. I am a little rusty because I just started playing, but this is also how you warm up to warm your shot up to shot with. Ooh, he just dropped me. But you guys want to do this? Get your aim right. Look at this map. Oh my god, he jumped in front of me. Like, come on, dude. What are you doing? Bot. See that aim beam? I'm sorry, my aim is a little rusty right now, but this is my sense, bro. I haven't played all day. I just got done working out. Right there. That's that's good. Warm it up a little bit. Now moving on to the AR. Same thing with the AR. You want to get that centering. You want to be able to aim at people's heads, bro. That's the main part to know if you got the right accuracy. Be able to aim at people's heads and hit them from far distant consistently. Like that's how fast I snapped on him. You want to get you want to get that type of accuracy, that type of aiming. Move it, on. Okay. Now, after you figure out which sense you want to try out, or if you have my sense, just go to CWL, play against a little bit of sweaties, and test it out. This is how you know if you have the right sense. You guys gonna see? Look how fast I beamed him. I locked onto him, but he was behind something, so I really couldn't shoot him. But look at this. Snapped on. Like, look at this. The snap-ons. That's how you know if you have the right sense. If you can snap on people like that, and then I see this dude and just beam him. Look at that. 
that's how you know if you have the right sense. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch y'all on the next video. Peace out.